Hello. Um, okay, so I was just looking through some old stuff and I found a poem that I recorded for you for your birthday, your last birthday, and um, I thought it was pretty funny. And um, I don't know, I was just thinking that we should record more poems for each other and send them to each other because it's like a nice surprise for me anyway and um, it's like a way to share with each other and to love each other I don't know but um, anyway I know you're probably not awake because it's like the middle of the night <laughs> I don't know I'm bad at math um yeah, it's the middle of the night there, and you're probably asleep. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, so you'll probably see this in the morning or at some point during the day, but I hope that you like it. Sorry, I need to look at the camera. Ugh. Okay, so, <laughs> um, anyway, I wanted to read you a love poem just because I feel like you should have a love poem. I don't know. Everyone needs love poems sometimes. So, um, I'm really into Margaret Atwood lately, and one of my favorite poems is by her, and it's called Variation on the Word Sleep, and I wanted to read it to you, so here it goes. I would like to watch you sleeping, which may not happen. I would like to watch you sleeping. I would like to sleep with you to enter your sleep as its smooth dark wave slides over my head and walk with you through that lucent wavering forest of blue green leaves with its watery sun and three moons towards the cave where you must descend towards your worst fear. I would like to give you the silver branch, the small white flower, the one word that will protect you from the grief at the center of your dream from the grief at the center. I would like to follow you up the long stairway again and become the boat that would row you back carefully aflame in two cupped hands to where your body lies beside me and you enter it as easily as breathing in. I would like to be the air that inhabits you for a moment only. I would like to be that unnoticed and that necessary. So, um, that's the poem. And, I don't know, I hope your life is going really well. Or, I don't know, well is such a boring word. You know, I have good wishes for you. Good is also a boring word, but I think you understand. So, um, I guess I will say good night, or good morning, or good day, or whatever. And that's pretty much it and you're wonderful and I love you.